back there and start pounding on some stuff. Oh, oh hey guys. Today we're at Rax Tracks in Chicago. We're recording our record. Um, this will be our fourth record. Um, really excited. It's the first time that we've actually really been in a true studio. I mean, for the most part, we're a very like DIY band, and I mean, even this stuff's pretty DIY. I mean, our bass player is engineering it. We're, you know, fortunate enough to have good people around us that like allow us to record in studios and you know do these kinds of things this is uh was r really a collaborative effort on on everybody's part all f all five of us completely so it's a it's a it's a nice uh it's a it's a really different and, and very good departure for us i think finally work work really really well together Midnight's uh, our opening track on the album. It's probably probably the track I, I get the most uh, creative latitude with. Um, I'm able to kind of uh, toy around a little bit more, uh, throw a little bit of throw a little bit of seasoning, if you will. You know, Michael might have mentioned this, but we actually just finished the track at midnight, and it's called Midnight. Okay, ready? Here we go. Oh, yeah! <laughs> so good now. Basically, my role in the last record was to um, record a couple vocal tracks in Mike's apartment. So this is definitely a completely different experience. Um, feels good to be really involved. So I'm having a great time. We got like, what, like 11 more songs to do? And we I want to personally get them all done tonight. I mean, I don't know if that's going to happen or not. But so far, everything is sounding like way, way better than I expected it to sound. So I'm pretty, I'm pretty psyched about it. Cool. Pretty excited. We're working on songs that you love. Um, it's, I don't know, it, it, I don't know if it's going to be on the record yet. Um, it was kind of just recorded as a fluke. Um, Michael and I, Michael had a riff, and we were sitting together working on some other tunes, started playing it, and 20 minutes later we had the song. It's literally a song that took 20 minutes to write. So I don't know if it's going to be a B-side, if it's going to be one of those favorite fan tracks, if it's going to be on the record at this point, no fucking idea.
The title of this record is Strange Parade. It's a huge departure from what we did before. I mean, we were doing a lot of like the blues, kind of very groove oriented thing, and this is more of a like a relaxed kind of almost poppy feel, but I mean, it's still very accessible to, to a rock and roll crowd. It's going to have a, a completely new, raucous energy about it that's going to blow people's minds, I think. I hope so, at least. I would definitely say this album is different. Um, from a drumming perspective, I would say it's less, less kind of groove-oriented and more, uh, it's more party. There's definitely more changes, more, um, more, there was more of a process going into uh, to learning the songs. So this is the fourth record to make a short story long, um, and it feels good so far. I don't know. For 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 people that like sort of cinematic um, and sort of ethereal qualities to uh, to their music and to their art, I think this will really appeal. Um, but also, there's a there's a real there's a real warmth and a real danger and a real beauty at the same time that we haven't tapped into, I think that um, will hopefully come across on, on Strange Parade. Um, and we're all really excited about it. And that's, we're all really, we're all really just having a lot of fun. So that, uh, that, that's, that's the point, you know? And uh, we just hope people uh, enjoy it as much as we do, I suppose. And that's about it. I mean, Hollis.net, check us out on Facebook, MySpace, Reverb Nation, and everywhere else on the World Wide Web.